it's Kim from All My Vintage. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for joining me in my live premiere of uh, part six of this mystery unboxing series. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, welcome. I won a mystery box giveaway that Patrick at Trusty Huckster Mercantile was having for the Just One More Dachshund Rescue fundraiser event that he was having on his channel. And I won a bunch of <laughs> mystery boxes. And I know it's been a while since I've done a live premiere. So I'm very excited to do a part six of this series with you all. So let's just jump right into it and see what I got. The first box I'm going to open is from Happy Vintage Haven. So let's see what I got. Here's the inside of the box. I already see some items. Let's see what's in here. First thing I see is a peace sign that has a little pine cones, a little holly, and a perfect for Christmas decor. Thank you so much. Here's the second item in the box. And it's a cute little, uh, like, satin uh, coin purse and it has like a more like a like a champagne type of satin look to it it's very cute see you can put your coins in here <laughs> so cute here's the third item that's in the box so this is a precious moments ring dish look at this it's so cute and as all of you may know i love precious moments it reminds me of my childhood and it says Mother so dear. Isn't that so cute? And uh, it looks like she's sewing something. <laughs> and I love that it's like in the shape of a heart and has like all these green and pink flowers. It's a great ring holder that I could use um uh, next to my sink. So if I'm wearing rings or something, I can just place it on here so I don't lose them. And this says it's um from 1995 from uh, the Precious Moments collection. So this is so pretty. And I love it. I can't wait to use this. Thank you. Here's the fourth item in the box. Oh, this is so cute. So growing up, I've always loved Minnie Mouse because you know why? She's so girly. <laughs> and she has a bow. So I love anything with bows on it. And she's wearing pink. Look at her. Look at her cute little flats. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Minnie Mouse will always remind me of my childhood as well. She's so cute. <laughs> and I believe I see some more um, Minnie Mouse and uh, Mickey Mouse figurines. Sorry, they're both Minnie Mouse. So let me show you the first one. Look at her. Isn't she just so cute? She's like, who, me? <laughs> so I just love it. It looks like you could hang it onto something. So you know, maybe I could even use it as like an ornament. So look at her so cute and then here she is again i told you she's fabulous <laughs> that's why i love her she's so girly look at her heels and she's like in this gown with like a hat and everything she's like oh let me dress up <laughs> look at her i love minnie mouse so cute there's a lot of stuff in this box so thank you so much happy vintage haven here's the next item this is beautiful so this is a, a floral bowl it has like it's orange and has different colored flowers and it says made in japan in the back look at the details of all the flowers in this bowl it's so beautiful so here's the next uh item here's the next item and this says it's made in japan and it's a boy um figurine with his hands in his pockets looks like he's waiting for something <laughs> and it has like a little vase in the back if you can see that here's the back of it he's definitely waiting for something <laughs> And he has like rosy cheeks. On to the next item. I lost count. Sorry. <laughs> so let's see. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. This is a light pink and gold. And if you don't know already, I love pink and gold <laughs> together. Especially when it comes to vintage items or anything in general. <laughs> and this is so beautiful. Look at this beautiful little uh, vase is light pink and gold it has like a white rose in the middle with some gold trim and some mint green leaves and it's just it's so pretty it has like this little handle it almost looks like like if it was like a tall like chocolate pot or 
something. <laughs> I mean, there's no spout, but it's so beautiful. There's the top of it. I just love it. Thank you so much. The next item in the box is a little pouch bag, a little zipper bag with um these different colored uh, sunglasses and she has different colored lipsticks. <laughs> And then it's blue in the back. It's so colorful. Look at it. <laughs> Here's the last item in the box. Finally got to the bottom of the box. <laughs> so let's see. And this is a uh, Norman Rockwell uh, plate. And it says it's the lighthouse keeper's daughter. So it says with needle and thread in hand, she carefully mends a jacket that is nearly as old as she. Her father, the lighthouse keeper, works hard so that his daughter can live a better life. Aww. And she can and she returns his love with the with uncompromising care and devotion. And it says nineteen eighty four, the Norman Rockwell Museum, made in Japan. Here's the back of uh, the plate. I just want to thank Happy Vintage Haven for this wonderful mystery box. Thank you so much for all of the wonderful treasures you sent to me. So on to the next one. So the second item I'm going to open is from the old carriage house shop. Can't wait to see what's in here. Be right back. So I opened the package and there's a note on it. Let's read it. The note says, Hi Kim, I hope you enjoy these golden books. I collect them as well. Congrats on winning the mystery boxes. I bet it's been a lot of fun opening those. Yes, it has. <laughs> All the best, Leandra. I hope I said that correctly. <laughs> but thank you so much for the note. And yes, I do love collecting little golden books. I definitely want to start a bigger collection. <laughs> so I can't wait to see what you sent me. So there's three of them. I see the first one already, so I'll show you the first one. So the first book says, uh, Baby Looks. Here's the back of it. It's a cute baby. <laughs> it's a cute baby. Look at that. Just hanging out in the grass. I was trying to see like in the back for those letters um, from what Kelly at Mossstone Story would say for her little golden book collection. But um, I'll just look at the copyright for now. <laughs> so this is from uh, circa 1960. Uh, look at the Look at the cute baby waving at the bird and just playing in the grass. <laughs> and I just love all of these illustrations. Look at that. So cute. I mean, come on. Look at that. Oh my gosh. With the little ducky in the pink tub. Okay, and then there's the baby's high chair. So cute. And then here's the end of the book with a baby with a little teddy bear. So precious. And here's the second book. It's a Peter Rabbit. Here's the back of the book. And uh, this is the 11th printing, uh, 1978. So there's Peter Rabbit hopping over some uh, wonderful cabbage. <laughs> and there's Peter Rabbit uh, just knocking over some Pots and plants. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and some, some more illustrations of the of Peter Rabbit. And I just love this. Look at the back. Like you could even order more uh, uh, books um, of Richard Scarry's Look and Learn Library. Isn't that awesome? I've never seen that in the little golden book uh, before where you could order like more. Like you'd never see this in the back of a book. That's so cool. And uh, here's the end of the Peter Rabbit book. So it's very cute. Can't wait to add this to my collection. Thank you. And the last book that I got is uh, Mickey Mouse and the Missing Mouseketeers. I love a good mystery. <laughs> and we're doing mystery uh, boxes. <laughs> so that's, uh, it's like Mickey Mouse trying to help me. What did she get? <laughs> This is uh, the third printing, uh, 1978. Look at the front page. I've never seen that before. <laughs> That's so cute and Mickey Mouse. So there's Mickey Mouse making some phone calls. And then this is so cool. It's like Mickey Mouse is on the Peter Pan boat. This one's awesome. This is Mickey Mouse uh, fighting off Hook. Good luck with that. <laughs> so I guess he was able to get hook and then there's um there's what's her name oh maleficent <laughs> and there's maleficent and then there's a uh, mini mouse she's sleeping 
Um, oh yeah, it says she's in a deep enchanted sleep. Uh oh. <laughs> then he was able to uh, save the day. So, <laughs> uh, uh, everyone's happy again. The end. <laughs> so I just wanted to thank the old carriage uh, house shop for these wonderful uh, collection of little golden books. So I can't wait to add this to my collection. Thank you so much. So the third box I'm going to open is from Patrick. Uh, a trusty huckster mercantile i'm so excited to finally open your box patrick <laughs> so i'm um, let's see what patrick uh sent to me so i'm so excited let's see i opened the box and i'm so excited i i already see so many wonderful items and i think i see a coaster so let's, uh, I'm going to show you what uh, Patrick included for his package toppers first. Here's Patrick's uh, logo <laughs> and it says, uh, thank you. And he's holding a slung vase and he's a trusty huckster. <laughs> and it says, uh, there's a note in the back and I'm going to read it. It says, Kim, congrats on winning the raffle. I hope you were serious when you made the comment on my booth tour video enjoy patrick I'm trying to remember the comments that i made on your video so we'll see what uh you sent to me um and i'll show you the other item that he put as a package topper and will you look at that i finally own a coaster from trusty huckster mercantile and if you don't know patrick from trusty huckster mercantile he likes to collect coasters and everyone always knows him for his coasters <laughs> so this is awesome i'm so excited to finally own a coaster from patrick himself <laughs> who uh, collects a lot of coasters <laughs> here's the first item that i'm going to open from patrick hold on and the first item he sent me is a creamer and it says it's from germany on the bottom but look at that <laughs> it's like uh it's like a kid trying to uh, feed its dog something, I think. I think it's a it's a kid trying to feed its dog something. Maybe it's treating the, the dog like a, a baby. Like, eat your food, eat your food. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. There's a doll in a rocking chair. So cute. Why are my hands so shaky? <laughs> and it says uh, Germany on the bottom. Here's the second item. Uh, in uh, Patrick's mystery box. Let's see. Oh, it's another creamer. <laughs> so I believe the comments that I left was that I love uh, creamers, right? Is that what I wrote, Patrick? I can't remember. And here's this, the creamer that Patrick sent to me. And they're dressed in like blue and pink bonnets with a jacket and a full bloom skirt. <laughs> and there's a, a a blue uh, tree uh, branch with pink flowers and more pretty flowers. And on the bottom says, Made in England, crinoline ladies. The crinoline ladies. <laughs> Look at them, they just chatted away in their fabulous crinoline skirts. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Here's the third item Patrick sent to me. It's another creamer. <laughs> so Patrick, I guess I'm starting... Uh, a bigger collection of creamers now because you said to be a lot of creamers <laughs> but look at this it's like a blue luster wear um like it's like an iridescent like luster wear a uh, creamer and has like a black uh like painted trim on it and then there's the iridescent orange uh interior in the creamer and this is from Noritake hand painted made in Japan I could make a collection full of creamers now thanks to Patrick <laughs> so thank you so much Patrick here's the fourth item in Patrick's mystery box and what do you know another creamer <laughs> and this is a brown creamer this would be perfect for like during uh autumn and fall a uh, decor and it says haul made in usa here's the fifth item <laughs> that i got from patrick i wonder what it could be could it be another creamer <laughs> let's see oh my goodness yes it is <laughs> and it's a girly one thanks patrick it's a floral uh gold trim creamer and it says it's from Lamberton made expressly for Waldorf 
Astoria, made in USA. Stir like goo. So let me show you a close up of it. So surprise, surprise, <laughs> it's another creamer. But I love, I do love creamers. And look at that, I just love it. I can use this for my spring decor. And look, it goes with my background. <laughs> so look at all the beautiful pink and purple flowers and the yellow flowers. I just love this. Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> Lots of creepers. <laughs> Here's the sixth item in Patrick's mystery box. Can you guys give me some guesses what this might be? If it's not a creeper, I'll be very surprised. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna open it and find out. Yes, it is. <laughs> this one is like like a pink and black. Like it, it's like an ombre. Um, I think it's milk. It looks like milk glass. I don't see like a signage on it, but this is really cool. I love like, it like just fades to the white. So cute. Look at that. It has like this like light pink and black effect. So fancy. <laughs> Here's the inside, the bottom. It's so pretty. Thank you, Patrick. Here's the seventh item. Uh, I'm sure it's another creamer. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, it is. <laughs> And here is yet another creamer. Oh man, Patrick. It's like, did you give me all the creamers that were like hanging or like all displayed in your booth? <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> Here's a close-up of this white creamer and it has like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a purple trim and has these beautiful light blue flowers. And I don't know what kind of flower that is. Um, unless it's just like starting to bloom, but it's coming across as red, but it's like a dark burgundy purple, I guess. And then on the bottom, it says, uh, Rigo. Is that what it says? Rigo and has a crown signage. I'm new to this game. So tell me if I'm saying that right. Is it Rigo or Rego? <laughs> on to the next one. I finally reached the bottom of the box. So this is the last item. And I also got another coaster. So thank you so much, Patrick, for the pair of coasters. I'm so happy I finally have one of these from you, uh, knowing that you like to collect coasters. So this is awesome. So let's see what this is. And yet another creamer. <laughs> So here's, so here's another creamer, and it says it's Noritake Stoneware, oven safe, detergent safe, microwave oven safe, and made in Japan. And it says uh, blueberry. So now, is this a creamer, or can it hold like blueberry compote, or is that the name of the, the design, blueberry? <laughs> you let me know, Patrick, but I'm sure I could use this more than as a creamer, like... Maybe for strawberry or blueberry compo or syrup or something cheese sauce. <laughs> but I'll show you a close up of it. And it has like this, like, um, I'm not sure what year this is from, but it kind of has like that modern look to it. And I don't know if you can tell, there is like a hint of blue, but it's like a dark green color and like the speckled effect. It's very cool. So. I could use this for not just as a creamer, but for other uses or even put flowers in it, of course. So thank you. So Patrick, <laughs> thank you so much for your mystery box full of creamers. <laughs> I got mad creamers for days. I have, I could have a creamer for every day of the week and an extra one since you sent me eight. So every day of the week and I could have one <laughs> for a midnight snack or something. Like let's say I use like um put cheese sauce or something or syrup <laughs> so thank you so much for sending me all of these wonderful items i'm definitely excited that i have a pair of uh your coaster set that you designed and i just want to thank patrick again for um doing the just one more dachshund rescue fundraiser event on his channel he has a wonderful youtube channel so you should go check him out he has a youtube live sales every thursday at 8 p.m eastern and sometimes he has a trusty deep dives where he interviews people on their collections uh um on sundays 
usually uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Patrick. <laughs> um, but usually it's he has it like once a month or something like that. Or, you know, whenever he usually announces when he does it. But definitely go subscribe to his channel. And thank you again for all of these creepers. I can't wait to use them. And I'm going to the next mystery box. Here is the fourth mystery box I'm going to open. And it's from Jeannie at Norma Jean Plus One. And uh, she has a great YouTube uh, channel. You should definitely go check her out. And sometimes she has um, YouTube live sales. Um, I'll definitely leave it uh, down below here and leave a link to her channel in the description below. So um, let's see what uh, Jeannie sent to me. Here's the inside of Jeannie's mystery box. I see a card on the side, so I'm going to open it up. Hold on. Here's a pretty card with stars on it. And it's so cute. It says, congratulations. And it has like, it looks like a cake with stars on it. See? <laughs> so you can pop it up and it says, congratulations. <laughs> and the back of it is a note from Jeannie. And I'll read it. It says, congratulations, Kim. How exciting. <laughs> it says, looking forward to the unboxing video. Hope this little gift will go with your pink glass collection. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it says, wish you many blessings and much love. Jeannie. Oh, thank you so much, Jeannie. I can't wait to see what you sent me. Got to the, to the item. Let's see what it is. She said it's pink glass. She even wrapped it with some light pink ribbon. Thank you, Jeannie. <laughs> oh my goodness look at this it's a pink glass candlestick holder oh my gosh and it's like it has like um it almost looks like a flower with all the like lines um going around is with like this little like ruffled type of edge it's so pretty and i i've never seen one like this and I could put a candle in here. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Jeannie. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely going to be going to my Pink Depression Glass collection. And I can't wait. So thank you so much, Jeannie. I'm so glad um, that you gave me a piece to add to my collection. So definitely go check out Jeannie on her YouTube uh, channel at Norma Jean Plus One. And uh, leave a link to her um, channel in the description below. Thank you. And the last box I'm going to open is from Sandy Ford. You've probably seen her on YouTube live sale chats uh, under the name of Four Sandy's Lilacs. <laughs> so I can't wait to see what you sent to me. Thank you so much, Sandy. Let's see. Here's the inside of the box from Sandy. And there's a post-it though. I don't know if you can read it. And it says, Lord God, I hope this arrives unbroken. So we'll see, Sandy. I'm, I hope it'll, uh, hope everything is intact. <laughs> so I'm going to open and see what Sandy sent me. So the first item in uh, Sandy's box uh, is another box. And it says four pieces of glass. So let's see what's in here there you go sandy it didn't break <laughs> so the first item is this like orange and yellow luster wear uh it looks like it could be like is this a shot glass or a little planter i guess it could be both <laughs> and yeah it is hand painted uh made in japan very cute and then i'll open more in the box so I'm opening the next item in the box and I think this is probably the lid to it. So it probably could be, I think it's like a lidded, uh, creamer? No, no, a lidded sugar pot. Sorry. <laughs> this goes on top of here, right? I could be wrong. Uh, <laughs> but it looks like there's supposed to be a spoon in here. So that's the second item is the lid to this. So let's see what uh, else is in that box. <laughs> Here's the next item in that same box. So I guess you hold it like this. Um, and then I guess it, it sits on top of this. But it has like a handle. And it's an orange uh, luster wear. Um, a hand painted uh, made in Japan it says it on the bottom over here so I guess it would go that's so cool maybe it's a mustard pot so I think it would sit there right hold on one second be right back let me open the other items <laughs> so this glass arrived Sandy <laughs> so I think this goes 
I, I don't know if this goes with this item. Let me see. Does it go with this? <laughs> I It might go with something else. So I'm going to keep opening more stuff in her box. So I don't think that goes with it. <laughs> so, but this was in there. Maybe it goes with another piece. So, um... Let me keep opening more in her box. Yeah, I was right. So I found more items <laughs> that goes with the orange lusterware. So let me open those first. So I was right. So it's a salt and pepper uh, shaker set with like the mustard pot. So hold on one second. So here it is. This is so cool. So here are the salt and pepper uh, shakers that I opened. And then this would be like a mustard pot, right? Am I right? It doesn't have the spoon, but that's okay. You could always, I could always add another spoon. So it's so cool. Imagine you just come out. Oh, you need some salt and pepper or mustard. <laughs> need a little seasoning or mustard. <laughs> and you just come out with this. This is so awesome with the orange lusterware. This is so cool. Thank you so much, Sandy. Look at it love it thank you <laughs> this one says glass on it uh let's open this i can kind of see it oh my gosh you got me the blue bird of happiness look at that so this is the little blue bird of happiness and i've never seen it like on a like even more blue glass <laughs> and it says this little blue bird hopes you're feeling a happy heart and a a uh, hasty uh, healing and it's so cute I've never seen one like this in person I, I always see it on other people's YouTube uh, live channels and live sales and this one it's like it's on even more glass like that's so cool and it has like this gold plaque here on the bottom it says bluebird of happiness and it says made in the usa and um someone's signature is on the bottom it says 1999 it looks like the name says uh leo ward i think i don't have a bluebird of happiness and um i don't know if you know this about me but i do like to collect uh blue glass uh bottles and uh like different uh, types of blue glass items <laughs> and I have them displayed in my uh, window and I love seeing how the like the sun beams into the blue color it's just so beautiful so I'm so happy to own uh, my own blue bird of happiness so thank you so much Sandy I treasure this forever thank you I love it here's the last item and then she has another post-it note that says it's glass so don't worry Sandy you did a very um very good job of wrapping everything so let's see what this last item is i see that the glass goes with this oh this is so cool here's the um i guess this would be the base of a oil lamp right uh i think that's what it is because then you would turn it on like back in the day put your oil in here and light the flame and stuff <laughs> so let me show you a close-up of it and this is so beautiful it has like these like dark burgundy not really burgundy i guess you could say it is <laughs> like a dark deep red like a burgundy red with like little hints of orange and like gold accents and it has like a wheelbarrow with like flowers and leaves i just love this it's so cool and the bottom of this it has no signage but it's so cool. I just love it. Let me get the glass. <laughs> so now I know what this goes to. <laughs> and oops. And it's so cool. I've never seen an oil lamp like this before. This will definitely be awesome for like my fall decor uh, during autumn season. So I can't wait to use this. So thank you so much, Sandy. Thank you so much, Sandy, for your wonderful mystery box. So, um... Don't worry, everything arrived <laughs> unbroken, and I love it all. It's so amazing of you to send me all of these wonderful items in your mystery box, so thank you. So I just want to thank everyone who came to my live premiere video and who's chatting with me in the live chat and probably saying bye. And the thank you all, uh, thank my thank yous <laughs> to everyone who came here to join me and watch my uh, live premiere of this part six of this mystery unboxing series from uh, the Trusty Huckster Mercantile mystery box giveaway that I won from the Just One More Dachshund uh, rescue fundraiser. So if you're watching this, uh, 
the after the live premiere uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know which item was your favorite and you can tell me why. <laughs> Thank you all for coming and I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!